unstable equilibrium on the demand side also okay let us see suppose this is now our uh, supply and demand curve okay now let's say suppose the price is below the equilibrium quantity this is the price uh, below the equilibrium quantity p1 equilibrium is this okay now i know that whenever the price is below the equilibrium quantity the price has to increase so it has to go here right now what happens is when the price is below the equilibrium quantity the quantity demanded will be more than the quantity supplied okay so you will find that the demand will increase okay so when the price is lower than the equilibrium you will see that the demand should increase but when the demand increases over here let's say this is the demand okay quantity demanded you are making the quantity demand to increase from here you move to this point okay so you find that the price is going to reduce okay so instead of price increasing when the demand is increasing the price is reducing so it will further reduce and you have the unstable equilibrium you are moving away from equilibrium so instead of going in this direction the price will move in this direction now again that bubble when it burst okay so when the gold prices has decreased okay it may happen that now people become too much pessimistic the people become too much pessimistic and the sub, the demand will reduce the price the people are willing to buy but they will buy only when the price decreases so what we have is this will be situation when you see that okay this was your earlier demand and this was your earlier supply curve the demand it reduces okay so people will buy and they will buy at a lower quantity and the price they will pay lower and the supplier will also reduce their supply because people are not buying so there is a further you find that there is a decrease in the price okay so there is a decrease in the price to achieve the equilibrium so this is your unstable equilibrium please note that in case of unstable equilibrium the supply has to curve cut the demand from below right now you can achieve both the stable and unstable equilibrium if your supply is not a straight line but it is a curve let's say you have this as the supply curve and this is your demand curve right now you see this point okay you see this point we have okay uh, point we have is this let's say this area if you see okay at this area what you are seeing is the supply is cutting the demand from above okay whenever the supply cuts from above you have stable equilibrium so if you see this is nothing but this is a demand and this is a supply and we have seen that this is a case of stable equilibrium so we have a case of stable equilibrium when the supply cuts from above we have this as a stable equilibrium okay right and when you have this case okay when the supply is cutting from below right this is unstable equilibrium so you can have uh, in natural processes or let's like say gold prices etc you can have stable equilibrium as well as unstable equilibrium right so unstable equilibrium will be there at higher prices at lower prices you will have a uh, good uh, 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 your stable equilibrium right so one thing you should note is whenever the supply is coming from is cutting from below it's unstable right so this is this point if you see it is like your demand and this is your supply the one which we have seen over here right so this is with regard to the stability of the equilibrium so we have okay so note this is the point stable uh, will be unstable if supply cuts from below and we can have both stable and unstable can be present right okay now these are some of the questions that we have right if the price of the good is above the equilibrium price so if the price of the good is above the equilibrium price okay so price is above equilibrium so we should have excess supply okay demand is lesser right a stable market equilibrium when it will exist okay when a stable equilibrium market will exist okay when you have this is when you have equilibrium okay when the supply k is curve is if there is excess supply okay so please note that stable equilibrium will exist when there is a excess supply you will have lower prices so think about it okay you have stable case where in you have excess supply okay and then you will see that the price will reduce right 
अनस्टेबल मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम विल एग्जिस्ट के प्लीज नोट दैट के ये अनस्टेबल विल एग्जिस्ट वेन यू हैव सर्टन सिचुएशन सो दिस आई एम लिविंग फॉर यू टू आंसर के नाउ विल बी ऑब्जर्व वी विल ऑब्जर्व अनस्टेबल इक्लिब्रियम वेन द सप्लाई कर विज स्लोपिंग अपवर्ड्स के दिस इज अगेन आई एम लिविंग फॉर यू टू आंसर सो दिस हैज कम फ्रॉम द डिस्कशन दैट वी हैव डन right now the next los is asking us to give the various demand and supply so they are saying that calculate and interpret individual and aggregate demand inverse demand and supply and interpret individual and aggregate demand and supply curve we have done this here only they are asking you to compute right so you are asking to com being to compute so just a recap individual demand and supply quantity demanded is a function of price quantity supplied is a function of price it's a individual okay then you aggregate it you multiply the demand with the number of customer you have okay you multiply the supply with the supplier you have number of suppliers you have right okay so here it is should be 350 then you multiply it. then you have individual inverse demand and supply individual inverse demand and supply price as a function of demand and price as a function of supply right and you have aggregate inverse please note and in case of aggregate inverse you do not multiply this but you take this you bring in the terms of price and this you bring in the terms of price so these are the functions that we have seen in examination you may be asked to do certain computation like uh, we have seen in the excel right then you have the excess demand and the supply right so they are saying that compute and interpret the amount of excess demand or excess supply interpretation we have done okay but here you require to do the computation so let's say if the market price of t is 1 per kg so it is below the equilibrium our equilibrium was 1.4 right so we had seen the equilibrium as 1.4 if it is below what is the what is the uh, what they are saying is excess demand okay or excess supply right so please note that this is our equation okay and this is our equation first you need to compute the equilibrium price so you will equate this two and you will get the equilibrium price in this case the equilibrium price you get as 1.4 okay now when your price is 1.4 uh, equilibrium you have one as the price you say that this is the quantity demanded and you see that this is the quantity supplied so you have more demand as compared to the supply so you have excess demand to the tune of this much 19970 kg right right so this minus this will give you 19970 if the price in the market is dollar 2 the price is more than the equilibrium so you have uh, excess supply over here so you compute the quantity demanded you put the price 2 over here you see that the quantity demanded is 34900 you see that the quantity supplied is Minus three five plus this so sixty five so you have more supply than the demand so you have a excess supply in this case right so you should be able to compute this okay so we can put this in the Excel and we can compute okay now this is the question that they have okay so the supply is given as quantity supplied is minus hundred plus ten into price so quantity supplied is ten p okay so this is the supply. the quantity demanded is 100 plus 5p right they are asking you to compute if the price is dollar 40 whether the market will exhibit demand excess demand excess supply or equilibrium so they are asking you to compute the equilibrium price so what you can do is minus 100 plus 10p will be equal to 100 plus 5 p right so you bring this 100 over here you bring this 5 over here so you have 10 p minus 5 p is equal to 200 or 5 p is equal to 200 right and solving this you get the price as 40 right so it means that when the price is 40 we are exhibiting equilibrium correct now next they are saying that if the price of the good is 30 then market exhibit what so you see that there are four option given they have given both excess supply and excess demand when price is 30 price is lower than the equilibrium 
you will see a excess demand so we will straight away cross this two right but now the point is whether the excess demand is of 250 or 50 let's see okay so we have the equation okay so quantity supplied is 100 plus 10 into 30 because the so you have x supply is 200 okay you see the demand 100 plus 5 into 30 right so the demand is 150 plus this is 150 plus 100 250 so your demand is 250 but please note that they are not uh, talking about the demand demand is 250 but they are giving excess demand so excess demand is not 250 how you compute the excess demand excess demand is equal to demand minus supply 250 minus 200 which is 50 so your excess demand is 50 units right so this com completes your losg and this is the answer thanks